just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it Gotta made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven Right and graven There's that saying to not mind people who don't matter and usually you would think as a Baltimore Raven fan if there's a player who's on a completely different team then something that they say it would not affect you right it would not bother you because they don't play for the Ravens they're not on the Ravens they're not getting ready to be on the Ravens so you ain't got to worry about it but this offseason that has not been the case with Darius Slay. Darius Slay I want to almost call him the prince of playing with Ravens fans' emotions. I can't call him the king because Lamar Jackson is the king of playing with Ravens fans' emotions. But Darius Slay, on his podcast, on the volume, he's at it again. Because before, a couple weeks ago, he let it be known like, hey, the Ravens, they offered me this money. They were really trying to get me. I was almost a Baltimore Raven. I was this close to being another bird. And I know a lot of Ravens fans were crushed by that. Ooh, they were hurt. But now... He's at it again. But this time, on the flip side, literally on the flip side, because he was he's on defense, but he's speaking about offense. And he's making it sound like there's a receiver that may want to join the Baltimore Ravens. He didn't say who, but he, just listen to it for yourself. Very talented. I can say Lamar receiver core is not the greatest, but they all fit the scheme for him. They probably can be crazy great. Good. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But outside looking in, that's always been, you know, the question mark about the Baltimore Ravens. And that's a receiver. And they're trying to answer that with Odell. And I heard a lot of other news, but I'm going to keep them news to myself. That's probably want to go over there, too. But I heard a lot of other stuff people want to go over there. But we go stay tuned. And, I, and if I'm right, I'm going to tell y'all I was right. But I'm going to let y'all just mm, sizzle y'all little spirit with that one. So Darius Slay, playing with all emotions again. And he said he – and he talked about something that's been widely known. He said that the, the Ravens receivers, they are all right. They're not the greatest. But he said they fit the scheme. And whenever somebody said but, – but anyway, he talked about how he's heard some stuff about somebody else who they, they, they want to go over there. Now, he didn't say the Ravens were necessarily interested in them, but he did say that they're interested in going to the Ravens. And the way that he worded everything, the way that he lined everything up, he led us to believe that he was speaking about a wide receiver. Who that wide receiver could be, I don't know, but I do know who I hope it is. And y'all already know how I'm feeling about that. When the Ravens signed Odell Beckham Jr., <laughs> Before the Ravens signed Odell Beckham Jr., y'all know exactly where I was at. After the Ravens signed Odell Beckham Jr., y'all know exactly where I remained. I said Odell Beckham Jr., adding him would be great. Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, awesome. You still got Nelson Aguilar. You still got Devin DuVernay for now. You got Proche for now. You got Wallace for now. And I got to say those for nows because things can change, as we all know. But... I said, we need one more. Just one more. Just, 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 just give me one more. Now, a lot of people feel like one more could be had via the draft. And it, it could be. That, that, that is a real possibility. They could draft the receiver early. But my preference, it's just me, my preference would be to go for an established guy who's like that. Odell Beckham Jr. was once like that and hopefully he can get back to being like that Rashad Bateman seems like he is well on his way but give me one more and if if not saying that it, it but if it could be DeAndre remember remember Rich Eisen a couple days Rich Eisen said hey if I'm the Ravens I'm calling up the card and say hey what you want for DeAndre Hopkins Ravens are showing a, a different mindset this year. They, they're showing a different mentality this year based off of how they are doing some of these contracts because they're going a route that they never take. So Ravens, if, if this is the route that you're going to continue to take, I love it. Trust me. Oh, I, I love it. I, I appreciate it. I've been waiting on y'all to do this for so long. But if you're going to go in, don't have step. Don't have step. No, no, no. If you're going to go in, go all the way in. Really push all the chips in because you haven't done that yet. 
You have not done that yet. And this, you had opportunities in the past to do it. But a move, a move like a DeAndre, not saying it is him. And again, Ravens got to be interested because it takes two to tango, as we know. It takes two. One person could be interested in somebody else. You could really have feelings for, for this girl. You could be loving her. Oh, man, I really like her so much. But if she ain't got feelings for you back, can't nothing happen. So it could be the same way. This receiver, whoever this could be, if it is a receiver, because, again, he alluded to it being a receiver. But whoever it is, they could have ultimate feelings for the Baltimore Ravens. But if the Ravens ain't got feelings for them, then it's no bueno. But one thing about whoever this mysterious person is, whoever this mysterious player is, the fact that if they do really want to go to the Baltimore Ravens, that can help the Ravens a lot. Because if somebody, Ravens could take advantage of that. And it's business. They, the Ravens are going to try to take advantage of anything they possibly can. But if this player really wants to go to the Baltimore Ravens, and I'll just use DeAndre Hopkins as an example. I mean, why not? But if, if it was DeAndre Hopkins, just, just a hypothetical, baby. But if it is DeAndre Hopkins and he really wants to go to the Ravens, say, for instance, Ravens talk to the Cardinals. Yeah, okay, we'll give you a 2024 20, third and fourth. Uh, we'll give you this year's third and next year's fifth, something like that, blah, blah, whatever. They come up with the compensation. It may actually be a bit easier for the Ravens to rework DeAndre Hopkins' contract because if he really wants to go there, and again, just hypothetical, using him as an example, it may not be him, but if he really wants to go there, he may be like, you know what? I haven't made a lot of money. I'd have made a whole lot of money throughout my career. But I don't know. I just I feel like y'all are trying to build something over there. And I want to be part of it. I see you got Odell. I see you got Rashad Bateman. You add me to that with Mark and and y'all got a new offense too. I want to be there for Lamar. I want to help him out too. I I, I really want to bring out the best in him. And with all those other receivers, too, that y'all got, we could bring out the best in each other. I, I, I've been hurt a couple times throughout my career. Odell's been hurt a couple times throughout his career. Rashad Bateman's been hurt a couple times throughout his career. But you add me to the mix with those two and everything else that y'all have, too. We alleviate pressure off of each other. We alleviate some playing time off of each other, even though I would love to see some, some three wide receiver sets, all three of them on the field at the same time. And then the Mark Andrews. Don't get me started, man. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Ravens, Ravens, mess, mess around and get DeAndre Hopkins if you want to, man. Let's mess around, man. man oh, man, I'm going to be running my mouth like crazy, man. Like crazy. But anyway, it could work in Ravens' favor for whoever it is, if they are interested back in whoever that player could be. Um, but I, oh man, I, I just really hope that it is him. I, I hope something happens. And re really, whoever it is, I, I just really hope that the Ravens are not done. The, the way that they've been doing these void years, that's unheard of from the Ravens. Baltimore don't even know what void years are. They don't mess with that. They, they ain't never been a team to mess with no void years, man, Ever. And if they have, please inform me when they did that, because I don't recall them ever doing void years. I've seen these other teams do it. These other teams like manipulating with the void years and stuff. And hey, do what you got to do. But the fact that the Ravens have been doing it this year, I said, oh, Ravens, wow. This is great. Y'all finally starting to finagle this thing. So that shows me that they are starting to be willing to pivot. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago uh, in, in a video where the Ravens had serious interest in Odell Beckham Jr. When that report came out that they were seriously interested in him. And we talked about how they, they, they with, them, with them showing serious interest in Odell Beckham Jr. Because they had offered him a contract back then. I was saying that th this, this sort of shows a, a, a pivot, a, a serious pivot from the Baltimore Ravens that they may be doing things a bit differently. And then the fact that they actually got him and they paid him all that money and they did the voyeurs too. Oh, yeah, they definitely doing stuff differently. 
So now it's like, all right, Ravens, like I said earlier, don't have step it. Don't have step in, man. If you're going to do this thing, go all the way. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully this could be for DeAndre. Hopefully it happens, like I said. But hopefully it could be specifically for DeAndre Hopkins because that will make a lot of us very, very happy. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And, like, hopefully DeAndre Hopkins can tell the Arizona Cardinals very, very soon. I'm out.